There have been so many DJI leaks in the past few months compared to other tech companies that you'd have to think that they have the most amazing bad luck. Or do they? We're going to discuss it. So don't go away. Hey guys and welcome back to the channel where we review tech related to making YouTube videos or alien abduction and conspiracy theory reviews just like this one. So if you're liking this content be sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell so you don't miss out on any new scandals. Now over the last few months you'd have to think that DJI must be one of the unluckiest companies around. Just about every new product they've released this year has had some form of leak. Either they're unlucky, or they have really poor systems internally, or with their suppliers or customers, or it's all a carefully orchestrated series of information leaks designed to, counterintuitively, give them a jump on their competition. So in this video we'll lift the lid off the whole sordid affair. Let's look at a few examples. Earlier this year, in August, leaks emerged showing the details of the DJI RS2 gimbal, the update to the popular DJI Ronin. It appeared on, among other places, the Best Buy webpage showing all of the specs and pricing of the device. Now rather than being blurry leaked images from a laboratory, it left nothing to the imagination. It showed everything. The page was eventually taken down, but the damage had been done. Good one Best Buy. Then there was the DJI Mini 2 drone, which was an update to the popular Mavic Mini that came out just a year earlier. Now this launch was subject to all sorts of leaks, causing the reputable Tech Radar website to speculate that the Mini 2 was one of the most leaked gadgets in history. Oh really? Well you ain't seen nothing yet. Videos emerged on YouTube of people who had gone into the local Best Buy and bought it before it was even meant to be released. Now the store had either ignored the embargo or the systems at the stores were not in place to prevent staff from putting it on sale. Not only did we see pictures of the packaging but people did full on unboxings and posted the videos on YouTube. Even before that though pictures of prototypes of the drones emerged online, another disaster involving Best Buy. Shocker. Then recently the DJI Pocket 2 camera was released, again an update to the original Osmo Pocket. And once again details were leaked on the internet that showed pictures of the product but also some of the marketing and website information relating to the creator combo kits and other accessories that were being released at the same time. Mm hmm. Why am I not surprised? And now, once again there's been speculation that DJI are making and releasing an FPV drone onto the market. Well. Speculate no more because over the last couple of weeks there has been multiple images emerge of the product itself. And not only that, but pictures of the packaging revealing the drone and the name. Now any other company would be ropeable that images, videos and specifications are being leaked so long before their planned release date. Pictures of finished packaging is one thing and maybe that's inevitable or more understandable because once product has been distributed you have to get product out into the supply chain, more and more people are expected to see it, plus everyone else these days have a camera in their pocket with their phone. Now even though these organisations, retailers and the like are subject to and have to sign NDAs or non-disclosure agreements, which is basically an agreement that they won't show or say anything until a certain time, it's inevitable that the more people have access the more likely it is that something will be leaked or mistakes made in the case of the Mini 2 and the RS2 Best Buy examples. But images of prototypes, testing samples from quality testing facilities, that's really bad. And I wouldn't be surprised if DJI have asked for heads to roll as a result because it just makes them look stupid. Or does it? There has been speculation that DJI are engineering these leaks themselves. What? I know right? I mean they're so blatant and so bad. These aren't blurry sideways images or sketches, these are full blown high resolution photographs and videos. Plus they're happening so frequently pretty much with every new product launch that you'd have to wonder if DJI aren't leaking these themselves. Surely a lot of the details that have been leaked, for example images from the DJI website before the pages go live, can really only come from DJI right? Is it intentional or done by employees that are either being paid by someone else to get the information, which is effectively industrial espionage, or worse, orchestrated by DJI themselves? Somebody knows the truth. And as Fox Mulder would say, Much as you try to bury it, the truth is out there. Where? Where? But if DJI did orchestrate some of this themselves, why? Well, a couple of reasons. One is to drum up publicity and public excitement about their products, free advertising in a sense. They say any publicity is good publicity and I don't necessarily agree with that 100% but I get the sentiment. It means your name is out there and in the public consciousness. Another reason is early share of pocket or share of wallet. 
There's so much competition in the tech gadget industry that companies are coming out all the time with new products. Now companies such as DJI invest very heavily in each and every product they produce, so they really need them to succeed to be able to get the return on investment. They know they make good product, often many times better quality than their competition. But if their competition churn out product for less and people buy it, then that money's spent. It often means that people can't buy the next product to come along because they've already spent their hard-earned cash and either can't afford it or they've just bought something else so they don't need another one, even if it is better. So by leaking details of product that's coming, it plants the idea in the head of potential customers. So when they see something else come along from a competitor to DJI, maybe they'll think, Hmm, maybe I should wait a week or two weeks or a month or whatever it is for the DJI product to come out. Clever. Now luckily for all of us, there are some pretty savvy tech reviewers on YouTube that help us all make up our minds on what to spend our cash on. By giving us a no holds barred look at a product or a comparison to a previous model so we can see if it's worth upgrading or not. Speaking of that, I've made videos here comparing the DJI Pocket 2 to the original Osmo Pocket and the DJI Mini 2 to the original Mavic Mini. So if you're trying to make up your mind whether you should get the Pocket 2 or the Mini 2 or both, then check out these videos. Now, as always, thanks guys and I'll see you in the next video. Yeah, I think that went pretty well. Yeah, how about me? Was, was, was I okay? Yeah, pretty good. I think you're a bit over enthusiastic at times, but hey.